Hello. Let's see how the non-inverting summer can be used uh, in OBA. So we have here uh, two inputs. So let me show you the inputs. Yeah. So we have here two inputs, V in one and V in two, and an output V out. So in non-inverting summer, it adds two inputs and it doesn't invert. It adds it as it is, like V in one plus V in two that we expect at the V out. So this is a schematic circuit diagram using an op amp. So used to connect the inputs to the non-inverting terminal, as it is mentioned, non-inverting summer. So input should be given to non-inverting terminals. And a resistance is connected in series for both of these inputs. The another part of the circuit is the gain. That is, these two resistors, R2 and R1, which decides the gain. As you know that in a non-inverting amplifier, the gain is, divide, is 1 plus R2 by R1. So this ratio will give you 1 plus R2 by R1 give you the give, gain. So you can see here in the formula, V out is given as 1 plus R2 by R1, which is the gain factor, and the two inputs, which is supposed to be added. Now you can you, you, you can make out this equation a little confusing, but it is quite easy to summarize here. So let me give you an example how this works. So let us consider consider that V in uh, V in one is equal to let's say two volts and V in two equal to 3 volts. So we expect V out to be 5 volts, which is nothing but 2 plus 3 volts. So how this will work? So if you look at the equation here, it is 1 plus R2 by R1, that is a gain. So values are equal, 1 and 1. So the gain of this circuit is 1 plus R2 by R1 is nothing but 2 because 1 plus 1 kilo ohm divided by 1 kilo ohm which is nothing but 2 so gain is 2 so ultimately the v out is equal to 2 times now r4 by r3 as you can see r4 by r3 plus r4 so this circuit now this this part of the circuit is quite easy to uh, Visualize. See, for example, V in is actually here 2 volts and V in 2 is 3 volts. We need to see what is the voltage that appears over here when only 2 volt is given. So, assume that this part is grounded so that V in appears, it's applied across R3 and R4 so that we should visualize a circuit like something like this grounded. This is actually R4. This is R3. So that now 2 volt is applied. So what is the potential here? So this potential is nothing but V in. This V in 1. So that's what they write here. V in 1. So that is R4 times V in divided by R3 plus R4. So this we need to work out. So similarly, when only V in 2 is applied, so we should see when only V in 2 is applied, that is 3 volt is applied, we imagine this to be grounded so that now the current flows through like this. So what is the potential here? Similar equation. So it is nothing but R3 into V in this is 1, this is 2 divided by R3 plus R4. So work out. So this, if you work out, you will get that voltage here for the, both the case. Obviously, both resistance are equal, so it's supposed to be half of both of these. But we have actually gain is 2, that's why it is made like that. Gain is purposefully kept as 2 because these voltages are appearing as half. So, if you put it in the formula, this is nothing but 2 into this part of the thing becomes 1 over 2. Two into 
nothing but time. So this is what is expected at the output. So let's simulate the circuit once in the E spice. So we have to refer to the same circuit. So again, we'll begin with the op amp. That is, select an op amp here. Is uh, OP07 we can use, or you can type it here OP07. I will use here, say escape. You need a resistance. So, if you wanted to uh, change the rotation of this, so you need to choose the component and uh, right click. Use this component, say control R. Okay, one second. So, if you wanted to change the V, okay, let's do it later. So, I'm going to use this resistance. Now, if you want to change the orientation of this, just say R, Control R. You can change the orientation by pressing Control R here. So, we need two resistance at the non-inverting terminal, which is supposed to be applied to the inputs R1, R2. And we have a gain equations, gain for that, that is a negative feedback, and another at the inverting terminal. Okay, that's it. So these are the four resistors that we have. Next, we need to provide the supply, which is given from this supply, or we say voltage. So voltage source, you need to select. Choose two different source, one is V1, another is V2, and uh, another is source supply here. You can connect the same V3. I will connect it over here. V3 and another four here. V4. Okay, now take a wire here and join these two. So this R1 should be connected to R2 and this is connected over here. And uh, we'll connect the feedback resistor. Then R3 and this is supposed to be connected like this. This has to be connected over here. Make this connection. Okay. So I need to put a ground over here. So take this ground and this is ground and this is also ground and I have one more ground that is to this side. This side is also ground. That's it. So that uh, this end I will connect it to. I will use again a wire and this is supposed to be plus. Okay, and a minus should be connected to a common point or else, else I can make it here a ground, put another ground here, connect it over here, ground it. Okay, so I think we can actually move this. It's part of the circuit. So, better drag this a little bit, and better drag this a little bit. Let's first cut it. Okay. You can again insert the supply. Okay. 
Ambil ni terang. That's it. Oh, now, take a wire and complete this connection. This is supposed to be negative supply going to this all time. So, the circuit complete. So, this is the part of the circuit that we are talking about. So, let's have a look here. So this is a circuit diagram. So I have not uh, um, put the same uh, notations for the resistance, but uh, the circuit remains same. So you can just check here. Now putting the values to this, according to the circuit, the gain is 2. So let me adjust these values. And this C is actually 1K. And this is also 1K. And this one is again all the values are 1k. Again 1k. And the voltage source you can give it. So as I gave 2 volts and 3 volts. That's it. So if you want to give a label to this, so maybe this is V in V1, V2. So you can also give a label here. So this is V uh, in one. Maybe this one I want V in one, and this one you want it to be V in two. V in two. You can label it, and this five one I want it to be V out. Okay. So now we have labeled all these things. Voltage to be given to this. We need to assign the voltage value. I'm going to give 15 volts for this plus and minus 15 volts for the negative. So that's it. Click on the run terminal here and uh, give one second because we are not interested to make any transient analysis. So give. And now just the probe appears, give it here V in 1. This V in 1 is actually 2 volts and V in 2 is 3 volts and V out supposed to be 5 volts. Exactly. So you can just uh, V out is here, just uh, click over here and it says 4.99 volts exactly. We are getting as expected 2 plus 3, 5. So we are getting the value. So this is how the, the non inverting summer works when the two inputs are positive, output also positive. So this is how we can just demonstrate the simulation of a non inverting summer. Thank you.